Hi, I'm Susan from Pan American Gem, and the technique I'll be teaching you today is how to attach a magnetic clasp using a thimble. So let me go through the, the materials. You'll need um, jewelry wire. In this uh, instance, I'm going to use the Flexrite gold-plated jewelry wire. Um, and the reason for that is because I'm working with uh, gold-filled findings and, um, and the, some of the jewelry wire is going to be exposed. So it's nice for them to match. And uh, you'll need a strand of beads. In this case, I'm going to use these pearls, uh, magnetic clasp. I'm going to be using this magnetic uh, clasp. And um, we use a supplier for, for magnetic clasp that's an American company. And uh, they make just the most wonderful, uh, durable magnetic clasps. You can find that on our website at panamericangem.com. Now, whenever I make bracelets, magnetic bracelets, I, um, I like to attach a safety chain. So the amount that I use of safety chain is about an inch and a half. And here I like to use the flat medium, flat round cable link. And I, it's pretty and, uh, and it's just the right the right length so one and a half inch uh, at the most two inches but you don't want it to dangle too far you just need enough room uh, in the bracelet so that you can slip it through your hand the other uh, items that you'll need you'll need this finding which is called a thimble and it really looks more like a like a little horseshoe where uh, it's made of a tube, like a tubular metal, and it's got two ends with a little hole on either side, um, kind of like a little tube, but then on the curved side, it's open, so it's exposed. And that is the thimble. The reason that you use this uh, for magnetic clasps is because they do get a lot of pull and a lot of wear on uh, the string just rubbing against the clasp itself and they could often have um, sharp sharp edges that wear away the string and this is just, uh, a very um, inexpensive finding and it helps protect the string and increase the durability of the piece you're making so the last um, items that uh, you'll need are crimps. So these are two millimeter gold filled crimps. And I like to use crimp covers. And these are the corresponding crimp covers for a two millimeter uh, crimp. You need a three millimeter um, crimp cover and the purpose of it is so that you have a, a nice and uh, neat round um, bead to conceal your crimp. It's, it's just for aesthetics. You'll also need pliers. You'll need cutting pliers. I like to use flat pliers, flat, flat chain nose pliers and uh, crimping pliers. And in some instances, I like to keep the round needle nose handy. So let me go ahead and, uh, and start. Now, a quick tip is that I like to string directly onto the spool, and that reduces waste, um, string waste, because I close the open end first. And um, you'll notice that it's a little tricky to work with uh, magnetic clasps because they like, they're really attracted to the um, pliers that you're going to be working with. So um, just as usual, you'd be stringing straight onto um, the beading wire. Now the first item that I'm going to put in for closing this bracelet is going to be the chain. And there's the chain. Next, you're going to add 
the crimp crimp bead and I'm gonna pause for a minute uh, just to bring up uh, an issue that you might have sometimes uh, when working with the thimble and the clasps at the end of the clasp sometimes you'll notice you, you gotta test it first and make sure that it goes through that your thim thimble goes through the clasp itself if it doesn't and you're able to you can just use your round needle nose pliers and spread that loop a little bit it'll usually just reshape the loop to be uh, maybe a little more rounder rather than flat and that would help so the next thing I'm going to put through is the thimble itself so I'm going to go in through one end of the thimble come around it to the exposed area and into the other opening to have it like this now at this point before you before you put it through your crimp cover you're going to need to um, go ahead and bring through your clasp even the string is um, attracted to the clasp it sticks a little so these these can be uh, entertaining <laughs> okay so now I'm going to go through the crimp bead and I have made a tutor tutorial just um, on attaching uh, crimps and uh, using crimp covers so I'm not going to go into detail over that but um, you see how the pliers um, really get stuck to the magnetic clasp. I use, try to use my fingers to hold the clasp in place. Otherwise it's a little frustrating. So I use the flat chain nose pliers to flatten that crimp. And I'm going to use the crimping pliers and like I said I have a tutorial just on how to attach crimps and crimp covers so um, you can find it at panamericangem.com which is our uh, website where we sell all these materials or you can find it on the YouTube channel um, Pan American Gem we also have a Facebook uh, account and a Pinterest account with a lot of uh, ideas so here we go sideways and then oh boy so tricky so tricky to attach uh, magnetic clasps but they are so worthwhile Okay, it just does not want to cooperate with me. I'm trying to turn it on its side so that I can um, so that I can flatten it. Okay, maybe there. Let's try it the other way. The magnets are really strong, so you get a lot of pull. Uh, here we go. And now the crimp cover. I like to hold the crimp cover with the plier uh, in order to attach it. It works better for me. Some people put it on the crimp and then go at it. And there we go. Okay. So it'll slip a little until you get the beads um, close to it. And then you can come back and make any adjustments so that it's completely closed. Now I'm going to clip the excess string. <laughs> All the pliers. Okay, here we go. And that is how that is going to be, the clasp is going to be attached. Now the other side, see why I like to work with, um, right on the spool? 
I can just come up here now and and cut enough so that I don't have uh, I don't have so much waste. And uh, so once again, we're gonna need to put the chain through first, chain link. Then I'm gonna put the crimp then the thimble and here's where it's going to get a little trickier even let's see let's detach that the other side of the magnet make it a little easier okay so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the other side of the magnet through the thimble finding. And finally, see I use the pliers to help me um, kind of pull the, the beading cord close. So here we are. I'm going to use them once again to get really close so that my bracelet is nice and tight and secure. And I'll hold the little end here and press. Mm. Boy, <laughs> it's challenging but really worthwhile. Okay, so there, it's pressed. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the, the crimp, make it a little tube so that it's nice and, and neat and pretty to look at. And there it is, now the tubular shape. I'm going to go ahead and at this point clip the excess string off and finally attach the last uh, crimp cover. So, oh, yay. <laughs> See, maybe if I come in on this side, nope. Come in on the opposite side. Oh, here we go. Okay. Just a little bit of a squeeze in the other direction so that the crimp is nice and closed. And if you find that it got a little lopsided, uh, you can always straighten it out. Just a gentle uh, straightening out with the, with the flat pliers. Okay. And there you have it, um, the magnetic clasp attached with a safety chain. And uh, the reason for that is because if you were to dig in your purse, uh, you, might, you might loosen the, the magnet, but, um, but it will not come off your hand. So this is the way it works. Just enough give so that you can get it through and then click in place. Uh, the only caveat with the magnet clasped is that people with pacemakers cannot uh, or should not use uh, magnetic clasps. It, um, it is contraindicated. And uh, I hope you like this tutorial and please give us a like and uh, share us, like I said, on Facebook or YouTube or Pinterest and visit the website panamericangem.com. Thank you.